Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Heed Army podcast. Going to try something different here. Let's see if this works. We've got a bit of background music while we're talking. I don't know if it's going to be too loud or not, but uh, I'm not actually going to be too loud. I'll turn it down a little bit. We'll see what that's like. Uh, welcome to the Heed Army podcast. Uh, let's see, before we go any further, as ever, thank you to our sponsors at Northern Print Solutions and uh, Patrick. And there they are on the screen. And subscribe if you're new to us. Uh, tonight we are going to be talking to Thomas Boyle, young gated fan, Boiler Sports TV on YouTube. And we're going to be speaking to Stuart Allen as well. And we're going to be talking about that beautiful 6 0 win at the weekend uh, and uh, everything else that goes along with it and everything else he had said. So message us as well as Boiler Sport did there earlier this afternoon there. Can't wait. So message us on here and subscribe and don't miss anything. So, uh, lads, how are you doing? I don't know if anyone let us know that volume. What's that say? Oh, I think we're going to find music, yeah. dude, it's, it's too distracting. I can't hear it. Is it music? Is there? there was. There was, but it's not. Oh, it's a new feature they've added. And anyway, uh, who cares? We won 6 0. That's what we do care about. We, we did the weekend. So it, what a weekend indeed. It was um, something special. Um, Let's see, we were. Mickey's playing a cool look. He is. Uh, either that or he's got a new hemorrhoid. Um, I think. <laughs> <laughs> I'm playing it cool and I've probably got a new hemorrhoid, but I haven't checked. <laughs> uh, Mickey, Mickey, if there's anything I've learned about hemorrhoids, is dip your finger in vinegar and push it back in. Um, so. Oh. <laughs> wow. Uh, what life advice we get on this podcast. Uh, yeah, all right. Uh, all right, let's have a little look here. Apparently, we've got some messages in. yeah, apparently, we've got some messages here. Yeah, all coming up. Apparently, the music was all right, but uh, just for us, it was a bit loud in our ears. But uh, hey, when, we're not, we don't need all the bells and whistles, do we? We've got Bonjour, lads. Trina, she's in France, obviously. Uh, Archie's <laughs> put uh, Boiler, we'll be speaking to him soon. Johnny Gray, evening all. Um, we've got mm-hmm. evening as well. There, we've got St. Geordie, hi all. Lots of people joining in early in the show. That's what we like. Uh, Sean Parry as well, and uh, we've got one here from Mr. Luke. Hello, lads. Can't believe what happened at the, over the weekend. I felt like we were in the National League North. Uh, the score lane three points gone against all the shot would be nice. Of course, we'll talk about that later on. We've got a message from uh, the best photographer in the land, it's Charles Woff. And uh, we've got there we go. What a team! Uh, they were fantastic. Well, lads, yeah. before we put the highlights up, we were um living via updates and uh, a group chat message uh, and uh, the Davies every reaction to uh, the goal Mr. Steele was what no way I don't believe it um, so, <laughs> you can imagine he said that six times um, so... <laughs> I, I couldn't believe it because I, I, I got quite nervous at the, before the kickoff I was yeah. quite nervous. I, 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 I suddenly thought on Friday, Saturday morning, we we're going to get beat. I thought, oh my God, they're going to turn us over three 0 I don't know why I thought that. And I wasn't the only. I, I didn't have a good one, lads. One of you. Who was the one that said he was very confident before kickoff? You, you, you said, Davy, before kickoff, you said we're going to have a big win, and I was I like, no, no. Can I, can I, I come in with talking about big wins? My Davy Armstrong uh, said that to his son. And he, he was riding home from work. He's a postman. He was riding home from work and he got in the house and he said to his son, I fancy we to win 6 0 today. Didn't have a bet on it. And, he, and his oh. miles went to him. Well, we're already 2 0 up there. Yeah. So you've got a oh. chance. I wonder what the odds yeah, were for 6 0. I don't know. Well, I, I had a uh, four-two at uh, forty-one, but um, let's let relive the magic that was the weekend. Um, I mean, even the goals, obviously, the chances that we had that we didn't score were beautiful build-up. I mean, you see, I think Stephen Warren was the first one here. Yeah, I mean, yeah. you know, there was a chance, you know, half decent one, but this Warren one when he cuts in and hits it off the off the post is uh, it's another. Well, ten yards, me one. I'm not complaining. Let yeah, I know. I'm not complaining as well, but you can see why we've done it. If you're going to give well, with that time and space, you're going to get your ass spanked. Mm-hmm. They're, just, they're just holding office, basically. And uh, oh, look the, at the, fo- the oh. football, this is. I thought his other one, his, his other one where he hits the inside of the post. And that's even better, yeah. I thought. Yeah, well, there's always someone with a bit of uh, sticks in the cameraman. Shocking. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you're playing too fast for any camera to catch it. Um, but yeah, no, it's um, 
it's just it's just good football to watch, isn't it? It's just total yeah. football, you know. I mean, the, the great finish, by the way. Yeah. That oh, was, yeah. Really good. I, I tell you what, uh, what I like for Ollie as well. Obviously, a good goal, but when we see the second goal, how he holds off the player so strong to carry it forward and then get the in. Stuart Allen in the corner, just on the edge there. Is it really? He's lingering in the background. We'll be bringing him in. Um, he's, yeah, he's getting back to his best now, Ollie, isn't he? He's, he's match fit now, isn't he? And you can see that. Um, you know, he he he, he played extremely well. I mean, they all did. I mean, we we're just speaking to yeah. uh, Stuart go, watch this. Watch how strong Ollie is here when he gets the ball back. Right, there we go. Oh, not the day, son. Get off. There we go. Oh, what, what a pass! What a finish. Oh. Look at that. Should have the bear yeah. on every week. Oh, hang on. There's, I don't know. We'll get the bear on every week. Uh, the production <laughs> line, there is 10 orders. They're all being made at the moment. We've got um, we've got two fully made, and I think we've got five blanks uh, ready to be stuffed. Yeah, so I'm just getting correct. So uh should be ready for the 19th. But look at that. Denanga. That, that defender, I, mean, I thought he could have cut it out personally, but hey. No, you I'm can't. Not, you, when, not, the, not, when the bear's not, hungry, but... the bear's going to eat. Yeah. <laughs> it's just, I mean, I, I must have watched these about three or four times just for the, for my own enjoyment and for the, to no. talk about on the podcast as well. Look at that! Oh, been a stunner that. But I think the last goal, we'll pass it. I think there's a goal in the middle, and he passes. I can't remember who he passes it to. But he's got about forty-five seconds when really? no one even comes and tackles. It's about 30 seconds he passes it Ollie and Ollie slides it through for Chadwick to run on. Oh, great ball. Yeah, great oh, finish. That way there. Good finish. Oh, no. But, I mean, the goals are spread around as well. Nice to see. I mean, right back getting three goals already this season. Yeah. Uh, it's not too shabby. Not it? Yeah. I mean, I, I, I said to you, lads, which which goal do you prefer the most? Uh, I don't think you can pick one, to be honest. They're all good in their own way. I, I, I do like Denangas first because I like the way that Ollie held it, you know, Lost it, yeah. For, for I like that, but uh, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go completely different. I'm gonna go with Chad because it's his first goal, and that'll yeah. do the world of good. Ah, I will uh, look at this. Look, he's just going for it. Great That's pass so by one. Oh, look look at that. That. It's quality oh. finishing now. Huh? Deft, deft touch, just pass the keeper. Lovely stuff, but yeah. Actually, to tell you what, one second, I'm just gonna quickly pause this because we've had an update on how to help with your hemorrhoids, Mickey. We've got uh, wrap them around the axle of a transit that sorts them. <laughs> <laughs> if anyone else has them right, uh, let us know. I mean, I was only joking, but Mickey has he's, he's suffered with them. I think. Uh, are you doing he's all right? Now, you? I had to go to hospital for them because. Oh Jesus! Is, is, it, is, it like, is it those cold seats in the stadium? Is it? I don't know what it was. No, it was because I had uh, I had diarrhea and sickness for about a week. Oh, oh goodness! Well, gracious. on that, that note, we, we, we go from horrific to terrific. We'll carry on with the highlights. <laughs> <laughs> we, we've lost. We've just lost twenty viewers. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh, look at that man! Beautiful. Have we dominated a game? I suppose since I suppose last last year against the same opposition, but you know, just totally. We've dominated games, but it's the creativity up front. I mean, we've seen how many chances that haven't went in. And that's yeah. the, the exciting thing is that, yes, we can keep possession, pass it in the back. But as Mike said at the talking, the way we pass it in the back is for these reasons here to open up. And look yeah. at that. Oh, that gosh. Gosh. Deserved it. See, yeah. Hannon, and his turkey really teeth could have put that one. As well. Yeah. I'm saying he's got turkey teeth. They're just nice and bright. He brushes them. But, um, <laughs> yeah, that was it. See, how many casting chances? As I say, was Sean Parry put, it could have been 10. You know? Could have quite, yeah. I'm sure Stuart will tell me as well. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. So obviously, Stuart was there, and I mean, this is just some goal. This someone's regretting having the tea while the show's on. Uh, <laughs> Sorry, <Neil. laughs> great finish, lovely. He's not one to celebrate much, is he? He's, he's word when he scores. No, he's, a, he's cool and collected, isn't he? he Even is. though he's quite, quite a bit of a you know, stylish player on the pitch, it's uh. Yeah, it's it's um right. it's, yeah, we'll go. yeah. Look, look how long Tinks has got this bar. Yeah, that's yeah. I mean fair enough. I mean Still the five nil, the five nil down, you know, the the dead and buried. Yeah, I understand yeah. that, but 
personal pride says chase it down. Yeah. Yeah, that would not nowhere to be seen. Tinks has got magic feet. Look at him, man. Oh, and, <laughs> and then he just picks out Ollie, then Ollie pings it through for Chadwick. Look at, Look at that. that. He's playing like he's playing like an old Chris Waddle because he couldn't run. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I, look, at that. look at that! What a pass that is! Oh, sublime, sublime, beautiful. I tell you what, at, at five at five o'clock, up and down the country, all the Heat fans must be just so happy, like so buzzing. You know, even going to the last few minutes, we didn't have to worry, did we? You know, we weren't. You know, this the classic gear sort of like been one nil up or two one up. You know, oh, like still, four still. five nil. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So yeah, right, Johnny, I, I completely agree with what Johnny said. Yeah, mm-hmm. they were oh, pretty, pretty yeah. mad. Apparently, the manager said he got his tactics wrong as well. That Darren can't come on; he could not load YouTube at work. Well, that's, it's all right. We don't want a gas explosion out at the uh, the Irish Sea there. <laughs> but, um, yeah, no, fantastic. We've got lots more messages coming in. No, uh, so one second. Uh, I think their commentator did well, not to sound distraught at the end of ninety minutes. <laughs> <laughs> That's the guy who commentates Carl Ian Wilde, and he's he's he was quite balanced the last time we played. Yeah, uh, yeah he was good. Yeah, there's some decent yeah, ones about. Like, I must admit, uh, again the Heat perform in front of uh, very few Heat fans. There's a pity we couldn't play this at home uh, in front of a few hundred. Well, look, you've got to you've got to get the points while you can, and uh, the, these results will come at home as well. Don't worry about that. Uh, look like Eastie yeah. didn't want the ball. Uh, See so lots coming. In. Oh, hang on one second. From yeah, puffins yeah. to poop, that's what we've we've went from. Um, <laughs> uh, Welcome to poop. Yeah, I'm, I'm like I'm just joking, Mickey. I mean, you probably have still got a pail there, but you haven't been suffering, have you, Mickey? No, not not for a while. Not for a while. There we go. Um, so the stadium. <laughs> while I was suffering, I had two doctors and a, and a surgeon. Having oh. <laughs> to having to rake and run in there it wasn't very nice. I can tell you. <laughs> on that note, um, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Mickey. yeah, uh, well, I didn't think we'd be going into hemorrhoids this week, um, but yeah, as I say, we are going to bring our first guest in. But before we do that, uh, we're going to get uh, just a, on our socials. This is how to follow us so if you're new to the show and hit that subscribe button as well. <laughs> Well, it's time to bring in Thomas Boyle. He's been dying to come on the show, and here he is. Hello, Thomas. Hello, you all right? Yeah, yeah Thomas. Hello, Thomas. Nice to see you, Sunshine. Yeah. Yes. Oh, it's fantastic to have you on. Um, You must have been ecstatic like us at the weekend. Yeah, I wasn't expecting 6-0. Were you expecting uh, us to win, Thomas? No. No, I'd say he's a propagated fan already. Um, <laughs> <laughs> no, never expect the win. It's always a pleasure when it comes in. But um, yeah, I mean, to say, uh, so you've been going to Gator Games for a fair few years now. How long have you been coming along? Since the 1920 season when we got relegated from oh. the National League. Oh well, you've you've seen but you've seen good things since then, though. That's the good thing, isn't it? It's all been yeah. good. What's, who's been your favourite player so far? Denanga. Denanga, yeah. <laughs> Got a good touch on him. He certainly has. Actually, just before we've gone to favourite players, before we go any further, um, did anyone see on social media that Keith Fletcher's son, um, we knew he was playing for DC United and he's played in MLS, um, but now he's on loan at Swansea and he played in a reserve game and scored a great header at a Coventry under-21s away. So uh, there's one to look out for for the future, but I used to love Keith Fletcher. He was a yeah. great player. But uh, yeah, uh, your team, Thomas. Oh, yeah, know. Thomas. Sorry. Before That's... you were even born, Thomas. Yeah, yeah. but uh, hey, Davey Steele would probably gonna move players before your mother was born. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, obviously, before a ball was kicked this season, what were you, what were you expecting? What were you hoping for? Hoping for a top half finish, uh, brought back Francis Whelan and Wern wasn't. Expecting to get relegated, and I think in the game so far, I think we've showed that. Yeah, so I think Sorry we're doing well so far. Just need to build on it. Yeah, it's yeah. been, it's been. A, I mean, it, it hasn't been a slow start, but it's been a. 
it's a strange one because we've had that. It hasn't been a constant up, has it? It's been a bit of an up, flat, Blip. up, flat. It, it, we've never had a low yet, have we? Really, of like performance. I wouldn't say a low, low, but home, you know, home to walking, low. maybe. Maybe mm-hmm. home to walking. Hartley Pool away was a low. Yeah, well, I wasn't there at that one, so yeah, I apologise. Yeah. So, yeah, but I mean, in Halifax you know, is always a low, so you know. Yeah, but I mean, <laughs> no, we've got a good point in the in the end. To be fair, yeah, but we did I mean, actually. We did. I go to where we are, though. You know, we're sitting six in the table. You know, we would have all snapped your hands off. You had a set after. Yeah. How, was it ten games? No, seven games now. Is it? Or ten games? I can't remember now. Uh, mine's went blank. But to be in this position oh, now. It, the, uh, near the end of sept- or mid September, you'd be like, "Wow, yeah, I'll take that all day." I would, I would, I would probably take that in May. Yeah. Oh yeah. I'd definitely, definitely. <laughs> in the playoffs. Yeah. <laughs> have you have you managed to get any away games, Thomas? Uh, only Hartlepool. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hoping to have get. You got any planned? Got any plan to go to in the next few months? Hopefully, trying to get down to Chesterfield on the supporters coach. On the Saturday, twenty first. Yeah. It's a lovely I ground, think. Chesterfield. It's yeah. really. Good. I mean, it, it it feels like a mini Premier League stadium. It's it's just nice. Like, you know, it's it, it's been designed with football fans in mind. Whereas, you know, when you look at some grounds, they look a little bit soulless. But this one, for a new one, does feel like a, an old fashioned football ground. But but it's new. If that makes sense, you know, because I've been I've yeah. been to Salford and that feels soulless. You know, and that's been built up bit by bit, but Chesterfield's is purpose built. It's nice. When did when did you go, Davy? Was that when we won? When we beat them? We won, yeah. That was when their fans were, uh, turned on them at half time, and then Martin Allen punched himself in the forehead in the press conference afterwards. So yeah, <laughs> it's a way to do it, like in it. So. If you're going to Chesterfield, I would save your pocket money up, Thomas, because Trina went there last season, and it was eight pound fifty for a cup of coffee and a pie. Wow. wow! I mean, you're definitely yeah. wow. It's, uh, not cheap. Some, sorry, we've got a message from St. Jordy as well. Let's not forget it was the hottest day of the year as well, and they put that performance in down south. Yeah, uh, you know, put it in. Uh, it's really good, uh, like that. And I was struggling just sitting texting news, lads. Uh, <laughs> you watch it, Thomas, or were you just listening to commentary? Uh, listening to it. Listen to it. Were you jumping around the living room like an like an idiot when we were scoring the goals? Because I did. No, I was just sitting <laughs> on. <long. laughs> just me being an idiot. <laughs> Thanks, Thomas. You were supposed to say yes. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> any, any Thomas? Did any of your mates follow Gated as well, or did we just look at his like follow Newcastle and just think you're really strange? Uh, some follow Gated, but the majority follow Newcastle. But trying oh. to get. Them- Gator, good lads, get get them over to Gator exactly. Uh, when, yeah, when the when they kind of get a ticket for the Champions League games, and I was come watch us play whoever it is on the Tuesday night. <laughs> Kid uh, uh, <laughs> uh, always a pessimist, and uh, the glass is half full. Um, Steve Farnfield uh, has put a uh, table means now. Now he's, he's he's the voice of reason, isn't he? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I love Steve. Good old Steve. I tell yeah. you, um, got some more ones here. Uh, uh, was that um, obviously must mention when I put was that when Waddle played for Workshop? Yeah, he did just stand in the pitch and didn't leave the center circle. Yeah. It was uh quite a sad sight to be honest. He obviously enjoyed still playing, but he was just literally walking. Did you see the passes he was putting off, though. Oh, yeah, yeah, it was, uh, <laughs> it was just ridiculous. Everyone's ch- chanting, Who are you? Who are you? when you come off the bench, he's like giving it all that to the crowd. It was great. <laughs> um, apparently, Chesterfield's a beautiful place. That's uh, the ground is. I don't know about the surrounding areas, I've never took it in, but I'll take your word for it. Hometown, it. Yeah, I know. I was just winding it's her up. Got a, it's got a crooked steeple, hasn't it? Uh, yeah. That's all I know about it. I'd say Mickey's pale. Um, <laughs> the best <laughs> that's the best football we've played collectively. Everyone was 10 out of 10. When Ollie plays well, Gator play well. Uh, he was magnificent. And Mickey, yeah. you've been saying that for you've said that for years. When 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 yeah. Ollie's cooking, we're, we're firing, aren't we? Nine times out of t- if Ollie's playing well, nine times out of ten, Gator will win. I've said it for God knows how many times, and I yeah. keep saying the same things. And we've got is it Barnet who's top the league at the minute? Yeah, All right. And in pre season, as I said, Barnet aren't as good as I think they are. They're sitting top of the league, so it shows that. I, I, I did, I did. <laughs> I'll, I'll, I'll raise my hand and say I did fancy them to be up there uh, before the ball was kicked, but uh, we'll see what if they can you, last. Tom? Who did you fancy? Uh, Chesterfield. 
Chesterfield. No, I... Yeah, I think they're only there or thereabouts, aren't they? Yeah, they've got good players like Brigham, uh, Cockluff or something like that. Cockluff, yeah. He yeah. used to be there opening them, didn't he? He was very good. Um, the Indian lad, but... Um... So, Thomas, what well, Thomas? What was your first game then? I know you said 2020. When, what was your first game? The Bromley semi-final. Oh, oh yeah, that's yeah, that's, that's screamer. That was when I was yeah. screaming. Yeah, but uh, half the time I was screaming because the chair snapped underneath us as well. And <laughs> I was just sat there and it gave way. Um, uh, someone spotted. <laughs> Stevie Farnfield spotted uh, well, last walking past with an armful of washing there in the background. I did see it. <laughs> um, so there we go. What's that? I was trying to hide that You're trying to hide it. It didn't do a very good job, like Pet. <laughs> it wasn't a good job at all. You've got You're about as self as a tank. <laughs> um, to look forward to his son. Oh, I as I say. <laughs> the most of it while you're young and daft. Yeah, just enjoy the football, it, Thomas. Just, oh, um, yeah, just play the field, keep it going. Um, that's what... <laughs> is your mum and dad are going, don't listen to him. Um, <laughs> right, but I uh, see obviously your first game was Bromley, and w- w- did that get you hooked? Obviously, because obviously it was, it was such a tight game, the, the chance of Wembley was there and stuff like that. I mean, was it that that got you your juices flowing for Gateshead? Yeah, um, I did enjoy that game, but then I've didn't go back for because I got a season ticket in Newcastle, but then went to Trinity Square in 2019. I seen some of the players there and they said, oh, come to the next game and got tickets for that and got a season ticket. Oh, you know, that's good. Nice. I've been seen it ever I, since. I absolutely love this. I, I just love it. <laughs> did, you get, did, did you get down to Wembley, Thomas? Were you, were, did you get a chance to go? Yeah, I went down good on the Saturday and it wasn't the best day on the Sunday. Did you go yeah. with your family? Did, you, did your dad, dad take you? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good lad. Did you stop That's over on the Saturday or did you get stuck on the trains? No, I went st- st- stopped over on the Saturday. Oh, that's, that's the good yeah. thing. Yeah. As, uh, well, not to wise, make wise words and like me, Mickey. Yeah. Oh, that's horrendous. Four in the morning, I got home. Trained to oh, Doncaster, then stuck yeah. on a coach. But, um, as wow. say, obviously, this season, um, I was just saying quite a few new players. Thomas, uh, who, who's the ones that have that you've been most excited about since they've arrived? Hey, Jordan Hunter. I think he's been very good so far. Yeah, he's uh, seems a really nice, like nice family as well. His mum come over to say hello to us and said, oh, she's, "I was trying to get her up. come on." She's like, "Not having any of it." So, <laughs> see, Jordan Hunter's mum come on the podcast. <laughs> That's what we've got to do, Thomas. You got tell her you make an appeal. Make an appeal to Jordan Hunter's mum to come on the podcast. We're putting your full screen as well. So go on. Jordan Hunter's mum, come down on the podcast and appear. There we go. And the chat, look at that. It's been put out. Well done, Thomas. We've, how, we've, we've... how can you refuse an angel's face like that? This is... <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. But obviously, you've got your channel as well. We'll let you give it a little plug. You've got it at the bottom there, Boiler Sports TV. So what kind of stuff do you put on your YouTube channel? Uh, I post match day vlogs from Gateshead and Newcastle. I also do like mini edits of Gateshead and Newcastle as well. Oh, fantastic. Cool. Good stuff. And uh, see, so you've got a few subscribers. I was, I was just saying to the lads, I was devastated. I was like, he's, got, he's got over a thousand subscribers. I was like, <laughs> yeah, over 1,300. I know. Hey, wow. Some boy, isn't he? Uh, well, keep that Doing going. Well. That going. Doing well. Doing well. I was it, expecting it. it. Well, you know, that's just it's no. amazing, really well done. It, it's a hard thing to do. Uh, as I, say, it's, I think uh, it's absolutely fantastic. The young kids are doing vlogs and things like this, especially yeah. when they're following Gated. I know, no, oh, get, just, get, out, just gets the word out, doesn't it? Yeah, it gets a good head start on it. But, um, as I say, we're going to put you on the spot and say what's going to be the prediction for the older shot game. What's your prediction? I'm going to go same as last year 3 2. 3 2. Ooh. I'll take that. I'll take that. As long as we're I'll be nerves, I'll take it. So the next time you're on the podcast, if we win three two, I might be here to say it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if heart will take three two. Yeah. <laughs> Even uh... that four nil, four nil up on Saturday, I was still thinking, please don't let them score. Please don't let them score. <laughs> I know. I know. Um, Mr. Lucas put brings a tear to my eye to see Campbell. Uh, 
having a great time, game at uh, Crawley. Yeah, he scored three yeah, uh, three yeah. goals in his last two games. And so, did it's you like Adam second. Campbell? Yeah, yeah when he first joined, I wasn't keen on him, but then I grew on him. So yeah, yeah, started hammering them in from long range. Oh, I know he scored. He scored a, a pure filthy one down at uh, what a cotton. Very disappointed the Crawley uh, commentator though, not laying it on thick for that. It was lovely, <laughs> um, but you know, can't can't all be his stuff. Well, yeah. Just like hard back to what he does, isn't it? Yeah, beautiful. Yeah, was, just uh, swept it in. But uh, Thomas, f- thank you very much for joining us. Yeah, uh, it's been a pleasure, pleasure to have you on. Hopefully, we'll get you on again before the end of the season and. Uh, I say we'll, we'll we'll hopefully have uh, your prediction come in right, and we'll we'll all be singing and dancing on Tuesday night when we play uh, Kidderminster as well, because we've got two games coming up before the next podcast. So it's going to be. I'll actually watch your prediction for the Kidderminster game as well, because obviously there's uh, the two games before we come back on. Uh, I'm gonna go three nil Gator for that one. Three nil Gator. Oh, I like that. Nice. I like that. Uh, we'll go Denanga hat trick. Yeah, that's what we we'll want. Six, six points from six for Thomas. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do. I admire your optimism, Thomas. (laughs) (laughs) That'll get beaten out of you when you watch Gated. Did you say that, Thomas? Because that horrible man, Steely, interrupted. (laughs) Sorry, we get get six points from two games and then we're going loose to Maidenhead. Oh, I didn't say that. We're we're gonna get get nine points. Well, you, you have, you have to it, Thomas. It was great until then. Um, <laughs> Davy won't care. He's not going to see the Maidenhead game, so you know. And, well, I'll be listening to it. Oh, I can it now because I'm not there. I'll be I'll be at Newcastle Airport, but uh, yeah. So on that one, but Thomas, thank you very much, and uh, we'll, yeah, we'll hope we see you again great, soon. Thomas, thanks for yeah, You're Thomas, welcome. cheers. Cheers, thank you. Bye. Yeah, yeah Thomas. Yeah, there we go. Great to have Thomas on. Um, it's great. It's great to have young support, isn't it? Coming through like that. You, you know. see how many of these young like vloggers, like well, obviously what Dan Bell does, and people like that, and they're starting younger and younger, and they're getting the skill set younger and younger, and obviously kids now they're more comfortable being on camera than what we probably yeah. initially were to start with um you know it's, it's to them it's second nature putting a camera in your own face whereas for us this is uh, nah. <laughs> well, i've always told you mickey when you're doing a selfie you pull the piles to one side <laughs> Every time I take a selfie, I'll get a, a thingy. Can you not smile? <laughs> That's I, what I get back of used to. Yeah. Tonight's uh, theme well, is about piles. The, 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 on next week's show, we're sponsored by Preparation H. Uh, so. Oh, and your soul. Uh, yeah. <laughs> how do you know that, Davey? How do you know that? What? How do you know what 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 to use because, for piles? Well, I've got a ta- you put ta- it on your tattoos. tattoos. Yeah, you put it on your tattoos to help the skin heal. Ah, oh, you've got out that one. Oh. Yeah, yeah. And also, <laughs> women women use it on the bags under their eyes to try and shrink them as well. They shrink the bags. Hey, this is great life advice. I never knew any of this. It really is. It really is. Um, Mickey, before we go any further, uh, obviously, we, we normally talk about them at the end, but we'll give them a little bit of a, um, a plug here. The ladies are playing on... Oh, I've put the wrong one up. I'll have to upload it. I do have the fixture uh, one uh, somewhere. Um, do, 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 see, it's well, that. we've got some under 23s at the stadium on Sunday, and well, not the stadium, the yeah, the, the pitches, pitches. And there we go, there I have got it. So, there you go. And is this, this a league game or is this another friendly league? League, right? So, this one should be very competitive. Under 23s have just come up, ah. um, but they've had to release a lot of the squad because they've got to be under 23s. Yeah. Um, but by all accounts, they've got the England women's under seventeen goalkeeper. Yeah. Oh, so, so it's gonna be we're gonna see possibly a future um future star in the making. So it's gonna be a yeah. good test. Yeah, Very it's good be test. A really good test. Um, I'm looking forward to the game on Sunday. Well, let's hope uh, the weather's better than last Sunday because uh, you were telling us you were, you were thinking about going to see Rutherford play. I think if you had have been, you would have been uh, still swimming up the Tyne, I think. You would have been washed away. Well, it's just, well poor Trina was ill, so we couldn't get. Um, and it worked out just as well, really, because it absolutely leathered it down. And I think yeah. a lot of games got abandoned. So it's just as well I didn't, we didn't go out because it would have been a waste of time. We would have got absolutely soaked to the skin. Yeah. 
I don't know. Hopefully, this is going to be that. Hopefully, it's a nice sunny afternoon on Sunday. Uh, apparently, definitely haven't Thomas on brought yet. Sorry, definitely haven't Thomas on brought the average age of the podcast down to 45. I'm only 42. <laughs> Steve, are you 45? I'm 46. You're 46. How old's Mickey? 51. 51. He's aging out. You're going to have to trade him in for a younger model. Uh, <laughs> it's getting a bit saggy for yeah, my life. Um, uh, uh, Charles Woff said, sit on a photocopier, it's easier. <laughs> um, oh, God. I don't know where to put this one up. Are you going to put this one up, Davey? Are you really thinking about doing this? Do you keep Ennis on the fridge? <laughs> <laughs> Oh, good work, Johnny. I think that well, one. Johnny, it's funny fridge. you should say that because I got some cream from the hospital that I had to stay in the fridge. <laughs> <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, went from puffins to uh, chilled hey, in all on the Heat Army podcast. Um, yeah, what, what about Vaseline? <laughs> oh, what, what, will Vaseline be any good? <laughs> Blue seal. Do you, do you cover your seals in Vaseline? <laughs> That's for uh, Heat Army Night. Um, ah, Heat Army Night. <laughs> um, there we go. Um, right. Uh, <laughs> hey, what can you do? Right, let's bring in our next guest, uh, and we'll ask him, Stuart, do you keep your anus salt in the fridge or in the cupboard? Um, that's a secret. <laughs> in the freezer. <laughs> it's easy to slip in as a lysical. <laughs> Right. Yeah, yeah. It is a family show, I promise. Uh, <laughs> welcome to, welcome the, to the podcast, podcast. Stuart. Yeah. Yes. Um, welcome. Stuart, you, you had the pleasure of, of witnessing that 6-0 in, in the flesh, you lucky so-and-so. I did, yeah. Absolutely fantastic. It was a long day, um, quite tiring, but I was like a 10-year-old jumping down the front of the bloody the crowd when <laughs> every, every goal that was scored. I think we nearly crashed through the gate at one point. Yeah, um, some, somebody hadn't fastened the bolt on the gate, so we nearly land up on the pitch. But, uh, I think Stuart, I was, was that one of the best away games. One of the best away games you've done. I've only done about four or five away games, but definitely, oh, I mean, it's the best game I've, I've done. You know, since I started supporting the Heats, I mean. I mean, it's always nice to get a win away from home, but to have such a performance. I mean, we've seen comments coming through, people saying that everyone was 10 out of 10. Was it as good as it looked? Um, Better. I mean, you couldn't fault the performance. Um, When they keep going on about this pity party at the back, you know, and playing from the back, it proved on Saturday the process worked. You know, they played it to perfection. And there was some long balls played through when they dragged the Eastleigh players, you know, to, to a halfway line. It basically, the process just worked and we've been waiting and waiting for it to, to happen. And it just proved perfection on Saturday. It was absolutely yeah. brilliant to watch. After, as I say, it was, uh, I say I was very jealous when uh, Mickey told us that you had been down there. I was like, oh. And, uh, but I know we've been talking a lot about behinds, but behind you, Stuart, someone is admiring uh, what you've got there. I love Stuart's room, but uh, getting a bit jealous. I say, you know, oh, Mr. Luke, <laughs> you have a heed, you have a heed uh, temple on that wall over there, don't you? Yeah, that, that was done during my illness last year. Um, I had to move in there when I was ill, and basically, I decided to do one wall dedicated to Bowie and one wall to the heed. So, oh, got, yeah, you know, that's, you know, that's, this, this is, this is my man cave now. I've got me Bowie tattoo oh, there. Get in. Marvelous. Yeah, Stuart, mo- Stuart, move out of the way so we can see it. Let's let's admire that wall because it looks bloody oh, good. Like, oh, look at that. as well, man. Look at that. Oh, look oh, at that. Oh, hey, I tell you, I, I tell you, I'm coming round for a cuddle. I tell you, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, br- I'll bring the inner soul. We'll we'll, uh, we'll have a one. <laughs> <laughs> but he's certainly stopped away from coming in for a cuddle. That's for sure. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> over the set there, sure, is, is, that that tie? is that a gift a tie as well? Yes, yeah, a gift a tie as well. Yeah. Oh, no, good luck. And I'm not telling you where I got it. Obviously, it was another thing here as well. We haven't mentioned, but I've got it lined up. Uh, Mike getting uh, manager of the week, uh, say, des- uh, deservedly so. And uh, as, yeah, I do have the picture here lined up, ready to go. There we are. Look at that. Well done, Mike Williamson. Um, 
as I say, he he talks about the process, and as Stu said there, that that is the process in action. And you know, there was times last year, especially the back end of last season, when we when we were implementing what we do, it was always threatening to you know against a team when they kind of keep up with you. Uh, you know, with the passing, the, the legs weren't there, and for us down there, it was the the perfect game and. It's not always going to be like that. Of course, we've all got to keep our feet on the ground. But it shows you when we're on our day, we can exploit people. And they can do it over and over. Once you find the weakness, you can exploit it. And teams have little, very little in response to that because they kind of get the ball. And then you're penetrating the weakness. That you know They're going to have to try and answer a couple of questions that are being posed to them. And uh, at the minute, it seems to be working for us. What was the heat like, Stuart? I wasn't too bad, being in a covered stand. Um, obviously, pre-match, we sat at uh, a nice little beer garden by a stream, and it was absolutely boiling, scorching. And it's quite a quite, quite a walk for the train station to the uh, to the pitch. You had to go through a, like a forest um, along a dual carriageway, probably a couple of miles, two or three miles, maybe walk to the to the, the ground. That was quite a a trek for me, believe you me, but uh, yeah. nice, a nice shandy at the end of it. Oh, well, that's good. Have you ever considered about selling your house? Uh, Theo's really interested. <laughs> <laughs> sell him the room. I can sell him the room. Um, sell him the room. Also, as well, where, where's the gated FC slippers? Have you has, have you managed to get a hold, set a holder? We would get a hold of a uh, set of them. I'll mention it to John Hewitt or uh, Davy the <laughs> Van the Man Man. Yeah, yeah Stuart, did you, Stuart, did you get a chance to chat? Did you get a chance to chat to any Eastley fans like before or after did, the game? Yeah. The, did, again, what, what was the, their crack? The, the welcome was really great by all the, the fans, the stewards, the staff. They couldn't have been better. Um, a lot of the fans came up and congratulated us as we were walking back to the to the train station. Um, one even stopped his car and said, "Fantastic performance! We'll be watching you for the future." You know. So, uh, not, not uh, the Lu- Louise yeah. Nelson's come up with a suggestion about Airbnb in your, that room. You can rent it out to greater <laughs> fans. Yeah. That's so, my bloody daughter, yeah. bitch. Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, you have to be careful how you list it. You know, if the heed room, you don't know what people's going to turn up for. But, uh, <laughs> <laughs> either way, you're making money. Either way, you're making money. Um, <laughs> well, uh, also, uh, one second, we have got another one here. How did Clarky get on last Sunday in the Great North Run? I believe he, he finished first of the of the uh, the triplets. Uh, the three one gated hour uh, foundation one one hour 44. You obliterated uh, the other two younger men, I think. Oh, and, yeah. uh, so, uh, so Clark, he's still got it in him. Look, we could have him playing by the end of the season, man. He's still got it in him. I can feel it. I know. It was <laughs> second, and then about 10 minutes after Josh finished, yeah, Josh Yule. Uh, so it's fantastic, but uh, yeah, it's um, I will say, but can I, can I just say, you know, how the players come across to the, the yeah. away fans during the match, Mike Williamson actually came across. Um, really? to speak to all the fans after the game so that was quite a touch it looks quite relaxed though did, I bet he did I bet he went yeah. process give a wink yeah. <laughs> <laughs> process yeah. uh, nice. um, yeah. that was a nice touch he didn't be smug about didn't he to be fair yeah, it's, yeah. Um, he's, he's been telling him we're, we're just going to be patient and yeah it sometimes it drives you up the wall and I watched England on I'm sorry Stuart I watched England on Tuesday night, and that England played exactly the same way as we did. I've been watching with that's what I've been doing. <laughs> uh, I'll just say to you there, Mickey. I've been here 46 years now, so I'm a nationalized Jordy. I'm not a Scotsman. So, <laughs> I, I don't follow yeah, Scotland. Right, I don't follow Scotland. Scotland winning, you're chewing I'm, me ears off. I was going to say, I, 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 I don't, I don't want to tell you, but the accent is different. <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Hang on, uh, for all the Gateshead Ranger supporters out there. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> That's the end of Dave Allen, isn't it? Um, yeah, so... And Roy but, Best and... Uh, uh, oh, the rest see, of the fleet. They just, should just be Gateshead only. Come on, team. he's winding this, this cell. So I'm a jambo myself. I That's know, my yeah. Team. Yeah. yeah so, no. But... Well. Uh, Stuart is another one of the ladies' guys. I don't know if I've already said that. Uh, Yeah, can you rephrase that? (laughs) (laughs) Ladies' team supporters. The the 
gated ladies place, should I say? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that you, obviously, you must be enjoying it uh, going down there. Another another branch of the heat to support. Yeah, it's uh, again since I retired, it's trying to find things to fill your days and your weeks with. So I took up fishing again. I took up supporting the heat full time. Uh, I spoke to Mickey at uh, I think there's a presentation night and decided to go and watch the lasses um, pre-season. Enjoyed it, so I've even coached the wife to come along on a Sunday you now. So, oh, I did. you're just glutton for punishment. You, you should be able to get away from it. You're taking out of the match, were you? Well, I, just didn't, I don't. I don't see her through the weeks. I spend the life in the room on the podcast. I forgot my owner's in my owner's in earshot. There, I was like, oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, babe. Thank you for the tea, I needed it. <laughs> uh, there we go. We've got piles. Oh, and... Where then, guys? What we're thinking on Saturday? Oh, he's oh, a three nil. Let's go first. Come on, Stuart. What, what's your what's your three nil? Three nil. Three nil. Three nil. Yeah. I did predict seven nil Saturday gone, so I was yeah. one off. Did did you? Did you really? I did, I did predict it seven nil. Whoa, Jesus. Wow. I just had that feeling. Mm-hmm. So it wasn't I mean, far away. I tell you what, we were gonna I've been saying it away, we're gonna absolutely batter someone. I didn't think it would be easily. I thought it would have been at home, we would have battered someone. If you look at the goals we've been putting in, it was gonna be inevitable. You know, once they hit yeah. form, they're just yeah. not gonna stop scoring. Yeah. I mean, I mean, that combination where you've got Denanga and Wern and, and Hunter all yeah. prying for goals. I yeah, mean, and now Ollie, yeah. yeah, and Ollie, yeah, and Ollie, yeah, yeah. and, and so, uh, yeah, it's, I mean, for me, it's just hooker by crook. It'd be lovely to win in style like we did on Saturday, but just get them three points. You know, if we're going to do anything this season, we're going to have to win dirty as well sometimes. You know, we're going to have to yeah. grind something out, well, and yeah. I've got a feeling all the shot may be one of them ones where we may have to. Grind it out a little bit. Maybe I'm not going to say it's not going to be an unattractive game, but it's not going to be all gated. I don't think. Uh, but then well, again, if it isn't, I'll be. Can I, can I jump in there, Dave, and just say that even when Eastley did get the ball, Gates didn't let them keep it. They were in there, <laughs> left, right, and centre, just taking it back off them. You know, I've never seen them so aggressive and so attacking to get the ball back and keep it. So yeah. a different side to what I've seen this season. If all the if all the shot has anything about them, they would have had someone looking at us on Saturday. It's not not too oh, far as it all the shot that Eastley, a couple of hours. Yeah, yeah. Maybe. So yeah. Oh, we, yeah, we did have the Southampton manager there watching us on Saturday as well. Yeah, he was watching our players. That's what he was doing. He's yeah. watching our players. Um, but I uh, was it one second. Uh, when we don't score in the next three games, I'll remind you all about this. God, yeah, I tell you, he's been drinking. Oh, from... on field, man. Give our man. Steve, his man. He's been, he's been oh, missed, missed the negative. Up again, hasn't he? Been he's drinking... been predicting 3-0 the shot. I know. <laughs> I, know. I tell you what, we'll have a look around. We're enjoy it, for God's sake. Steve, we're, Steve, uh, Steve, I'm coming to the next home game, Kidderminster on Tuesday night. We're going to have words. <laughs> <laughs> oh, t- talk about positivity. Uh, this lady's brimming. Here we are, three-one and three-one on Tuesday. Oof. Whoa, I mean, oh. six points. <coughs> it's a because nine- we support the heat. We're just we're just not used to this kind of chat, are we? We're not used to actually predicting two wins out of two. Yeah, it feels I mean, wrong. <sighs> feels dirty. <laughs> feels 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 cocky. Feels and it, it's, a, it's not the gated way, is it, to be cocky like that? No. You know. You, I still it's two nil with, with like two minutes to go. You still think, oh, could do another one here. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's never, it's never Joe ever been Grayson, an easy. Ride. By the way, I'm kind of sorry to cut across. I was Joe Grayson because that lad's been quality since he's come in. Sorry, I missed that again. Oh, how, let's see. How was Joe yeah, Grayson? Yeah, played fantastic. Everybody played fun. You couldn't yeah. single any player out. Because they played as a team and they were all 10 out of 10. You couldn't say a great deal about the defenders and Archie Mayer because they didn't have a great deal to do. But yeah. what they did do, they did well. So, um, it's been a touch of quality. Oh, of yeah. Quality yeah. Come in. yeah. So, um, <laughs> but I'm not known as Dr. Doom for no, for nothing. Uh, <laughs> also, but, uh, need to meet you on Tuesday, Steve. Hopefully, you can get a picture of all three work together. That'll be oh, cool. Oh, that'll be canny. Yeah, and uh, we can hand it out to Christmas. Bring to keep away from oh, the. You're going to bring a wide-angle camera then. 
what, who for? <laughs> I've lost weight, me, cheeky sod. Um, me. We've got 4 1. We've got more on Saturday, 5 1. Oh, Jesus, David. <laughs> We need to get him and uh, Steve Farnfield in the room, and they'll come out with a two-two draw. You know, make things. <laughs> <laughs> uh, God, it's five nil and three. Oh, God. <laughs> this I hope all, you know, this all happens, but um, yeah. Um, has anyone uh, seen the Gated Soul offer for the Maidenhead game? I think it's a class no. act. I have seen this. I hope I get it right. Um, um, the season ticket holders or soul uh, members can bring yeah. along a free person. You have a yeah. free ticket, yeah. and you've got to oh, wow. yeah, figure sure. it out. So bring a friend, so to speak, uh, and uh, hopefully you won't get a, a bumper attendance on that. You know, especially if we pick up some points in the next week. I mean, you know, could really be going into that on a high and. Dare I say you could be pushing for the top three if if, you, if things are going great, but let's not get ahead of ourselves. But tell your friends that even if it isn't, get them along. Um, you know, we'll trick them into loving the heat. Um, Trina, she's going positive as well. She's sorry, she's got three two uh, on, on Sat and three one on Tuesday. Uh, Grayson uh, looks good. Hopefully, tighten up our defence. You already slotted in like he's been there all the way through, and we know. Mike, he's, he's had options. He's definitely had options. We, we've seen the trialist play. I mean, the lad that scored against us for, um, was it Woken? Okay. Yeah, uh, he, he he was on trial here. So, you know, we, we probably had, a, you know, the chance to sign him, but, you know, typically would score against us in a, in a, in a fixture. But, you know, he, he wanted a certain type of player. He wants a player that can more comfortable with the ball at his feet. Um, and Grayson just seems to slot into that mold, doesn't he? He looks like, he, you know, he, 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 you, you would have... Any combination of him, Tinkler, Story, and Ke- uh, Kenton at the back, wouldn't you? And be very, very happy with that. Oh, definitely. I would anyway. Yeah. yeah. Uh, Christopher Stories went 3 1 on Saturday, 3 0 on Tuesday. God, I tell you what, this, 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 this Mike's going to have to uh, shower everyone down here. Everyone's getting hot and heavy with this, on, the, on this one. Um, I couldn't get the link to work. I'm not sure what that's for. Um, I think that was for the free for the free ticket. The free ticket, yeah. yeah. Um, so let's see, we've got about ten minutes left, and uh, let's see anything else that we haven't talked about that I, uh, that I might have forgot about. Does anyone think of anything else that's happened uh, this week? But sending them predictions still, everybody, and uh, yeah. obviously we'll hit like and subscribe. Predictions, are we? Oh yeah, we'll do Stevie. it. Well, go on, Steve. What's your predictions? Oh, I'm a bit more doom and gloom. I've been listening to Farnfield too much. Steve's been in my ear. So I fancy a draw 1 1 on Saturday and a 2 0 win against Kidderminster. Four points from the from the six. Yeah. Um, oof. I'm going to say a tight win by one goal. I'm not going to go score lane. I'm not going <laughs> to. I think it'll either be either 1 0, 2 1, or 3 2. Um, on Saturday, and then I think your options open. Why don't you? No, no, I'm not. No, I'm not. I'm I'm not trying to go. (laughs) I got the prediction right. I just think I think it'll be a tighter game, and then I think the entertainers can come out against Kitty Minster at home. I think we need to we need to prove a point in front of the home crowd. Uh, You know, yeah, maybe silence some of the naysayers um, that are not exactly in awe with the process. I don't know why not when you've looked at them highlights of what we've seen at the weekend. We know what it can bring and um, and where we're sitting in the league. So I'm hoping... We seem a bit nervous at home though, don't we? Because we've only won one game out of four at home. I think think there's a nervous tension because I think there's, you know, yes, it's a small crowd. Noises, you know, the negative stuff is always heard in a crowd more than the cheers. You know, yeah, it's... Yeah. And... I think there's, it, it, as Mike said in that um, the talking at the Bulls Club the other week, that you know negativity can breed, and, and if someone makes a mistake at the back, he's not bothered about that because he knows they'll get back on it. But when the crowd grown, if the goes back to a player that's made a mistake, then that breeds uh, nervousness, you know, on the pitch as well as in the crowd in the stand. So hopefully. Mm-hmm. We can have one of these performances. Like, well, we had it easily. I'm not saying six nil, but if you have a convincing three nil win where we just dominate and you know and and give it we're all, then that can really be a shot in the arm for the fans, the club as a whole, the team, where we're all feel like we're in it together. I think we are all in it together, but you know, Mike picked up on it, and uh, so obviously, you know, I think that's 
that would be the, what would be in order for me. I think a, a good dominant win at home. Well, I'm going to go two one on Saturday, and I fancy we uh, a two nil on the Tuesday. Jenny, right. yeah, happy with that. Two wins. Oof, what about you, Stuart? Yeah, I'm sticking with about three nil both games. Yeah. Okay, confidence is brutal. After, after watching that on Sunday, yeah, yeah, I was saying Jordy's, but we have a strong bench. We very we do. We've got options on the bench now, and and there's going to be players that don't make the bench as well soon. Uh, when uh, mm. when Panny's back, when Weaven is back fit, there's it's it's a it's a nice problem. Unlike Mickey, sorry, un, sorry, unlike Mickey, who's got a soft bench, which he sits on. <laughs> <laughs> They need for this, Stuart. That's not. I'm, I'm saying now, Mickey. Well, 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 once, once, we're, once we're off camera, then I'll, I'll yeah, we, we, we still got fantastic, <laughs> <laughs> we still got fantastic viewing figures. Thank everyone else for joining us tonight. If you have just joined us, we did have Thomas Boyle, uh, young Gated fan, join us earlier on in the show. So if you want to watch this back uh, when we finish, that would be absolutely fantastic. Please do like and subscribe. We're just trying to hit as many people as we can, get more people on. The show is growing. Um, it's not a vanity project uh, by any stretch of the imagination. We just want to reach more people that to see our glorious club, like Stu. Stu's a, you know, he's uh, he's he's from he's, he's from foreign territory, as it were. You know, he's, I know he's adopted, <laughs> but you know, we, we want to reach more people like Stu and get more people uh, loving the heat. Isn't that Stu, right? When, Stu? When, when was your first game, Stu? Um. Prior to Wembley 2013, probably a couple of weeks before that, I actually joined the Heat supporters then. Right. Uh, went to Wembley um, for the playoff final. Um, I saw a few more games after that, and then obviously work commitments just stopped me going. So I used to just follow yeah. the, the results every week. Went to the odd game here and there. And then obviously, 18 months ago, I had my stroke and had to retire early. So looking for someone to fill me time in, decided, let's go. That's it. So I think, I think Barnett was in his first game. So yeah. we've got a message now, from Vanessa Alderman. She didn't. Put... <laughs> Sorry, we've got a message from Vanessa Alderman. She's put it on the post, not in the chat, but uh, she's put uh, even and all. What a super win! She put that forty-one minutes ago, but it's just come through on my phone. Um, yeah. Look at that. We've got a little bit more positivity from Steve Farnfield. He's put out take two one-one draws. <laughs> um, <laughs> Steve, man, we're getting through to you. The positivity's coming, Steve. Honestly, one, <laughs> one, one, two, I'm gonna see what a two one, two one defeat in a draw to him. So we're working on him, <laughs> we're working on him, we're working on him. Honestly, it's going to be like the Grinch. We're going to turn him round from you know, trying to do the Christmas to, to just being positive on football predictions. Um, so I've got one second. We've got uh, another message here. Uh, watch the vid of whatever was thrown at Davy around 20 times. <laughs> the the tea off, off, my, off the missus there. Um, she about. And Carla, what I want now, she's not a run. There'll, uh, be slow -mo there'll be slow mo's out there if you know, David, your reaction. Don't use uh, there. Um, just, just, just a quick one as well. And I'm Mickey, you were on the Luke Walsh podcast earlier as well. But uh, Gates said did get a bit of a mention on his podcast tonight that were absolutely astounded at the score. So yeah. watch this space. That's all I wanted to say to them. Yeah, um, I, I did. No, I, I did watch the Oldham podcast last night, and um, yeah, so did I. Oh, I. It, it was and in a not a sadist way, but the, it was quite funny to hear the panic um, because a lot of them would go. Well, what what we doing? What a club like us, like drawn with gated? It's disgusting. I say, like, well, no one no, think of the league that you're in. You, you, you know, you, you're at a level because of a certain reason. And uh, yeah, it's just it was a delusions of grandeur, so to speak. Yeah. Not all of them, yeah. as I say, but there was one or two callers that couldn't get the grasp that they are a non-league club uh, at the moment and uh, couldn't stand to see the fact that they're getting beat off or, or drawing with little old gated. Yeah. So. Uh, <laughs> And they were asking me for advice to where to play Dan Ward. Where yeah. does Dan Ward play best? Uh, yeah. Then yeah. Gates said. Good <laughs> 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 oh. answer, that's Stuart. Well, but, uh, I'll be making, yeah, spoiler sports, but I'll be making different videos of that on my channel. Oh, great. There's going to be me hitting the road. <laughs> Get in. You know. Make sure you send them straight to he'd, he'd, uh, he'd, uh, what is me thingy? 
Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How long have you been doing this for me? I can find it. It's on your screen. There we go. I'm on my phone. It's Wow, well, Mr. McHugh's eyes. Yeah. Um, so, um, <laughs> second. Well, hang on. With water bottles in the Newcastle game and objects in his own house becoming a target for this season, uh, is this because he's James Bond? <laughs> <laughs> Which he still hasn't done, and he had the chance to do it through the week, by the way, I thought, folks. No, I, 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 did, exactly I, did, did. Go down, I did go down to Time Mouth, Long Sands, and I, I was having it because we had the kids eventually got them back to school. St. Anne's have got like temporary classes because it's closed with a concrete thing. So we went down and I had a, um, a, 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 an omelette. So that was just a nice time down the beach. So And then I forgot about stripping off and coming out of the water provocatively mm. thrown. Um, <laughs> there we go. Just literally from that, it fell out my brain. Um, right. So if there's anything anyone would like to get in, please do send it in the chat and we will uh, get on to it. And uh, as I say, we'll, we'll chat about it. This is the time to do it. Uh, we will be back next week, of course, uh, next Thursday. Um, we're hoping, uh, well, Jamal Fifield said he will come on, um, but the problem is he coaches on a Thursday night. So me, Davy, and Steely might have to do a pre record another evening with uh, Jamal. I'm still waiting to hear back from when that might be. But, um, of course, and we'll try and get um, uh, another set of fans on as well uh, so we can get some opposing fans and uh, say that if you want to be on the podcast, let us know. And you can uh, show off your gated wall like uh, Stu has done. And uh, I say, I thought Steely's was the best gated wall I had seen. <laughs> and uh, now... Uh... <laughs> Yeah. How much uh, is it per calendar month for that room, by the way, Stu? <laughs> <laughs> for you, Mickey, a coffee. Oh, that's that's yeah. all right. I'll Boiler. send Trina up. <laughs> oh, no, I never said that, man. <laughs> Boiler Sports, any chance of doing some cool comedy review this season? Mark Crivers will absolutely break your legs. He doesn't, he's, it's, it's his baby that I will see. Um, so, what? I mean, he's only little, but I'll tell you what, he can north bite. Um, so. <laughs> <laughs> he'll, he'll slap us for that. Um, it was for God, I love watching Jamal play. Yeah, I was a big fan of Jamal. Uh, Fifield, uh, always give 110%, uh, never let you down, and uh, still yeah. doing the business at uh, Boreham Wood now. Um, but also, as well, before we go, uh, the ladies are playing this Saturday on the 4G pitches behind Sunday. Gated, Sunday, sorry, behind Gated International Stadium. It's a 2 p.m. kickoff. And uh, if you want to get down there, Stuart will be there, Mickey will be there, um, handing out free samples of Anisol. And taking photos with everybody, and if you're lucky, he'll let you touch it. Um, the coffee machine by then. Oh, oh, there we go. So, yeah, um, Divi, have you got live live commentary on Tuesday night against Kitty? I have, yeah, looking forward to that. Uh, me and Mark will be uh, back on the microphone for that one, and uh, as I say, hopefully, it's a nice opportunity for Gated to put out one of them performances in front of the home crowd and get everyone, you know going in the right direction not that we're not but you know just let's just cement it and let everyone get excited because and enjoy the way we're playing at the moment because this time last year we we were starting to get the beginning of the host of injuries weren't we so what a difference a year makes uh we're sitting in the playoffs everything's rosy it's um yeah it's it's nice nice to be a gator fan at the minute isn't it reasons to be cheerful one two three <laughs> I was trying to think of something funny and go, not Steve. Uh, so... <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, but yeah, as I say, well, that's it. We've, we've, we've filled an hour there. And uh, so, 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 hi, I'll be taking pictures, uh, taking the pictures on Sunday. So I want Charles Wolf will be down there as well. So the ladies will be getting some good exposure as well with the pictures that uh, Charles takes and they'll be on social media, no doubt. Um, we've got, oh yes, I've seen this today. Did you hear about this? Um, oops, just hit the thing. Uh, Gator International Stadium is hosting a couple of the Newcastle under 21s Champions League games too. I think they're playing the PSG and Dortmund game yeah. at Gator International Stadium. Um yeah, so I might try and go down to one of them. You never know, you might see a star of the future from Dortmund and PSG uh, and Newcastle, possibly. Uh, <laughs> hasn't happened in about 40 years, but still. Um, that Lewis Miley looks a good player. 
yeah, well, I'd probably imagine he'd be involved in them. So, uh, yeah, something to, something to see. Champions League football at Gator International Stadium. Never thought we'd see the day. Um, <laughs> but uh, it is going to happen. Um, I've got here, yeah, Liv's put another quality show. Thank you. No, it's, you're very welcome. Um, we've got... Uh, I must admit, the new signings played a blind out of dear mind, and not um, Stuart and Boiler. Oh, they have the oh, yeah, fantastic. Yeah, I see. We, uh, we see. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're tapping into the the, the, the time we are stand now, and we're going to get a lot more guests on. That's what we want to do. And talking about that, we've got bitterly disappointed the decision to allow them to play against the international stadium. Um, yeah, I, I hope I don't think they'll wreck the pitch, they'll probably look after it, they'll probably send their uh, ground staff, won't they? Not that Simon Lowry or the uh, council's doing a bad job, but uh, you would imagine they'd be over there helping out as well. But uh, we're hoping to get Mickey Scully on, and uh, we we'll want him on the show. We're reaching out to everybody, and uh, we've got there we go. My prediction for Kitty is 12 <laughs> <laughs> Rob Elliott hat trick. Well, we still need to find out if Rob Elliott is a, um, has a phobia of mashed potato, um, which we heard about. <laughs> we, we will find out about that. Uh, and if it is, we all chuck packets of smash for them on a match day. We're doing, <laughs> we're joking. Um, imagine, uh, what's that? What's that? Oh, one second. You, you have done piles of the podcast now, lads. That's a more <laughs> fun that one, wasn't it? And uh, Keller Navas was at Fields last week. Well, whoop de doo on that note we're going to end it there um everyone it's been uh, fantastic thank you to Stuart. thank you to thomas um and uh Cheers, we'll see you next Cheers. week hopefully uh, after two fantastic results but remember like subscribe and drag your friends along to the game because i think it's going to be something special against kitty minster but also tell them if they enjoy that you can take them for free to the maidenhead game if you're a season ticket holder or a soul member as i believe but uh before we go thank you to our sponsors norman print solutions and patrick and uh, lads, we'll, we'll we'll see you next week, and let's hope for some more points. Bye, everybody. Bye, bye everybody. Thanks. Bye. 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 Stay on stream. <laughs> bye. <laughs>